and welcome to Pumpkins Nail Station. Today is a really exciting one for me today because it's a birthday manicure for a very, very dear uh, nail friend, Cherie from Just Nailed It. Cherie, this one's for you. Um, so I hope you enjoy it. I'm recreating one of yours, but um, I'm not doing the, it's a smushy nail palette snail one, smushy snail, smushy nail um, manicure that you did on Instagram. There's the picture. Um, I'm going to be using She Modern pigments because I know you love She Modern, so I'm going to be doing a smushy effect with She Modern basically. So this is what we're going to be going for with the She Modern. <clears throat> so we're going to be doing that on that, that and that nail and on this nail and this nail is going to be white with the white iridescent glitter and these purple and silver daisies because I know <coughs> you love purple. So we're going to use a mixture of the pearl pigments so we're going to use the orange, the pink pearl, the blue pearl, the yellow, the purple and the green. So that's the colours that we're using and this white iridescent glitter. Alpine Snow Polish by Momo um, and my base coat and top coat will be by iMaylee because they are my favourites. And I'm, mainly, I'm using this white because I've been sent it to review so it's a good opportunity to use it because I need a white. So happy birthday Shabri. I hope you love the um, collaboration um, of birthday manicures that's been done for you. I really hope you enjoy it because you deserve it so much because you're such an amazing friend and person and yeah you're just a joy to talk to and be around and I love you so yeah so this is for you um, so I'm going to crack on with it. We're also going to be using the glue gel and these ones what I have here, I just need some other colours. I keep them in here basically, the ones that I need. So I'm just going to get those into there. And we're going to crack on. Um, and we're also going to use the Unt Peel Off Base Coat because I want to try it again. This is a take two. So we're going to get our nails prepared with some alcohol. I'm just going to pop some alcohol onto a cotton round. I have washed them, but I'm just going to clean them, make sure they're free of any oils and dirt. I'm just going to do one hand um, in this video. Um, so yeah, that's what we're going to do. So I'm just going to let these dry a minute, just to make sure they're dry. My hand feels a little sticky. Um, just going to go and clean my hand it feels a little bit sticky I don't know why um, I think it's probably a bottle that I've touched maybe I don't know might be this glue gel I'm just going to clean my hand and clean this glue gel bottle and then I'm going to come back when we're ready to start okay. right so we're back so we're going to put the unt on first um, I filmed a video where I used it for the first time and I filmed my first peel off with this they should be out by now if they are they'll be in the top right so with this um, make sure you go up as high as you're going to put the polish because if you don't when you go over it and you peel it off you're going to be left with a ring of gel polish that you've got to remove so it kind of defeats the object really it's all right if it's a bit but if it's a huge ring and then I'm capping the end of this in. I'm going to let this dry for the a lot of time, which is five minutes. And if you want to peel off your manicure easier, like straight away, then do two layers of this, letting it dry thoroughly in between each layer, basically. That's what I was told on the video. So I'm just going to let this dry for five minutes and then I'll come back when we're ready to start. Okay. 
Right, so we're back. So these four are completely dry and that one's a little bit damp. So we'll just leave that one to dry and we'll work on these four for now. It works out why my hand is sticky because there's something on the table here. And I've just felt it again. Okay, it's gone. Okay, so we're just going to add a base coat to these four nails while that one's still drying. So this is the I May Lee uh, base coat is my favourite. So I'm just going to go and cure those and probably add the base coat to that one off camera and then I'll come back. So we are back, so now we're going to try the Alpine Snow by Momo on these. So we're going to put this on all of our nails. I have done like a full swatch using this as well. Manisha and Nora, um, Night57, I've both tried these, so check out their videos. I'll leave them in the description box. Okay, so I'm going to finish the rest of these off camera because <coughs> I need to tidy up the edges and I'm struggling to get a straight line back to front so I'm going to do that and then I'll come back. Okay, right, I'm back, the cured and I'm just going to do a second smoothing coat. So I'll show you that on a couple of nails and then again I'll just come back. Okay, so that's the two coats on there, and that's the one coat. I'm just going to finish them off and then I shall come back when we're ready to do the pigments. Because after I've done that, I'll just apply a layer of the glue gel off camera and I'll come back when we're ready to start the pigments. Okay, <coughs> so we're here. So I'll put a layer of this glue gel on to adhere the pigments to them onto all the nails and for the decal as well and I've cured that for 30 seconds okay now I'm going to get a canvas I'm just going to wipe that down just because it's got gel polish on it Green on there. 
this is the white iridescent, it's going to go on the thumb and the accent nail just there. same to the thumb. I'm going to need to, yeah, I should really get another stamper for this. But they're all tucked away in my drawer. Okay, so I'm just going to add this to the thumb. I just find this is the easiest way to add the She Modern Glitters. It's how Tina used to do it. A while back. Okay, so we've got that. I'm just going to dust that down. Dust that down. So they're done. And they're out of the way. And now we're just going to do the smushy nails on that one, that one, and that one. So we're going to be using these. I need the purple one. Turn it over if you think it's too pigmented. Okay. Just brush it. Up. So that's one nail done. So the next one's going to have pink and purple in it. So we'll go for the pink first. Okay, right, so that is that one done. 
going to brush them all off and we're just going to top coat these so I'm going to move them move that out of the way I'm just going to clear the desk up and then I'm going to get the top coat out right okay so I'm back so I've cut everything out and put them onto a sheer modern canvas like that and we're going to use the water bottle and we're going to I've got glue gel on this nail and this layer at the minute because I like to stick them to the glue gel. I don't really like it moving around too much. So we'll do the little finger, the smaller finger out of the two first. So I'm just going to wet them. I'm just going to let these soak up a bit. And then once I left it about 15 20 seconds, I'm going to dry the water up with this and pick it up with a stamper. So, I'm just removing that, just making sure this stamp head is clean. So I'm just going to soak up most of this water. bigger one two first. So I've got that on there. I'm just gonna stick that on there like that. And then just give it a little smooth out. Okay, so I'm just gonna get the little one. This is paper stuck on it still, just drag it off. And then I'm just going to add that one down here. Okay, so we've got that one on there. And now we've got these ones here. So we're just going to do the same to that. Add some water to each one. I'm just going to add it to these three for now. And I may not use that one at the minute. So I'm just going to move it out of the way. So I'm just going to speed up this next part because we have done it. And that's it, so that's done. So now we're just going to add the Imaley nail white top coat to all of the nails, and we are done. So let me just make sure I'm in frame, okay, and then we're done. So, this was my idea of a pigment light type smushy nail, and it's just me copying what she did doing a she modern version of it because I know that she loves a she modern I know she loves purple so I wanted to include something purple I also know she loves hollow and she modern glitters so recently I recreated her manicure with a twist of a few of her favorite things so I hope you like it Cherie this took me hours to think of what to do Tons of practices on how I was going to do it. I was thinking of doing it with magic powder. I was thinking of using ombre powders. I was thinking of all sorts really. But this was probably the best idea what I had. Out of them all. I 
And what I love about the glue gels is you don't get hardly any glitter, remaining glitter on your brush. And I'm just going to go across the edges of my nails a bit. And I'll let you know if I can keep this on for at least three or four days till I want to redo a new manicure. If it starts to peel off, I'll be honest and tell you if it didn't work either by cupping the ends or if it was more difficult to remove. I'll let you know as well. So I'm just going to cure them, then I'll come back and we'll have a look. Okay, so I'm back. So what I've decided to do is add just a little bit of this bling what Cherie gave me for Christmas. So I'm just going to add a gem to each of the nails. I'm just going to pour some of that in there. Because these are beautiful and it's a birthday. So I'm just going to add a little gem. Each of these nails, I don't know. What about adding them in the middle of the flowers? Yes, that's so pretty. Yeah, we're doing that. Yes, I saw um. Manisha and Tina do this so that's what's given me the thought to do it so I'm just going to centre that off and that's that so I'm going to cure those just going to cure them and then I'll come back and we will be done right so here we are so this is this is the finished design. <clears throat> Hope you like it, Cherie. That's the thumb. I love these bling. I think it's really um, added to it in some way. What do you think? Do you think I did a good job? I love it. I think it looks nice, pretty. So happy birthday, Cherie. I hope you've had a great day. I hope you've had lots of presents. I hope you've enjoyed what I got you and what I know Princess Nails by Diana got you. And if anybody else has, I hope you've enjoyed it and I hope you've enjoyed this collab. So that's it. So all the links for everything I've used will be in the description box. And thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye.